This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to New Day. We begin the day with the 80th anniversary of the Seattle Kennel Club Dog Show. And since this is also the year of the dog in the Chinese Zodiac, it seemed natural to showcase a few of the Chinese breeds who will be there at the show. Here with us is the former longtime voice of the Westminster Dog Show known as America's Dog Guy, David Fry. Welcome to New Hi, Day. Hi, Margaret. Thank, Thank you. you. It's always in. nice to be on with you. I'm so excited about the dog show. I love dogs. Probably too much. Um, <laughs> we noticed that as you're interacting with everybody out there. Just, but. There's one that I really would like to take home, but he has humans already. Okay, so tell us a bit about what we'll see at the dog show. Well, it, you know, it's always the year of the dog for us. Yes. So we always bring you a, a bunch of different breeds. We have 160 breeds this year and about 1,300 dogs that uh, compete for on Saturday and Sunday, two different dog shows. Um, mostly the same dogs. We have a number of other activities too, like agility and obedience and junior handling and, and things like that for the kids. So we have great fun. It's a little so much something fun. for everybody, of My course. My dog um, in the obedience training would be a really interesting thing. <laughs> she actually doesn't obey you anything have whatsoever. You have I'm to convince the dog that they're doing it because they want to, <laughs> not because you want yeah, them to. Yeah, I haven't been successful in six years, so probably not going to happen. Um, so the, the interesting thing to me about this is that, you know, everybody loves dogs, but we don't always get to see these different breeds. And this today is our opportunity to sort of combine two things and find out about dogs whose origins were in China. So uh, let's bring our dogs out, shall we? Let's see dog number one and tell us all about, you know about this little beauty. beauty. You all recognize the pug and that great pug mug as we call it. <laughs> I didn't know the pug was from China they until we got China. ready for this segment. They, they, made the, they made headlines in Holland years ago when a pug alerted the, 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 the palace of a, of a raid that was coming on from the Spanish. <laughs> and, and so they immediately became the favorite dog in, in Holland wow. of, of the palace. But they have their origins in China. But what it says in their standard that describes the ideal specimen of the breed is that it's in multum parvo, it says, which means a lot of dog in a small space. <laughs> so they are, by size, the largest of the toy dogs, and they really are kind of a toy dog because Look of that face. their attitude and, and their, their take on life. So. I like a little dog with attitude. Well, I think that's, that's important. We love that with our dogs. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Aura and Jada. All right. Now, Here's our Shih Tzu, uh, Shih Tzu. with Joan and, uh, and Shih Tzu is Tipsy. Look at oh, that tipsy. face. Yes. See, they're also they're the, the lion dog. Shih Tzu means uh, lion in Chinese, and and uh, they are also called the chrysanthemum dog. When you look at that face, you can understand. But. And the hairdo helps her to be able to see, because otherwise that that's, could be tough, right? That's it, exactly. But they are a favorite what? of the palace in China <laughs> as well. All go, of these dogs right have been, are very uh, self-possessed today, though. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to do a turn for you, well, and now a reverse turn. <laughs> <laughs> they are show dogs, and they got a show, you know. It's, it's fun and now for a profile. And fun for us, but fun for all the owners. And it's a great family <gasps> sport. It's a great way for you to be involved with the dog that you love and doing something that's fun for them. We need to make a GIF of that where the dog turns to the camera. Ooh, <laughs> thank you so that's much. Appreciate nice. it. Thank you. Thank you, Joan and Tipsy. Here's your buddy. Stacy, I told Warren Stacy to watch you because you said you were going to take Max home with well, you. I, I'm not, I won't be a dog thief, but I can, <laughs> I'll just love Max from afar. These the dogs had their origins in China. We, we think of them as being from Mexico maybe so much because they came over with the, the Chinese merchants to be ratters on the ship. So they used to be a little bigger and they're now really? more like mousers instead of ratters. But, interesting because I have uh, a thing for terriers. So this is interesting that this is still in the kind of in that family of jobs is. that they do. And they come in two different varieties. This is called the powder puff. It's one with hair. The other <laughs> one is, uh, is a hairless one that really you're just looking at skin and needs uh, sunscreen every once in a while for outdoor dog wow. shows. Wow. But they're wonderful dogs, they're athletic dogs, and they love people, so. Um, He's so sweet. As soon as I picked him up, you could feel his little body just relax. <laughs> He's a lover. I have to tell you, we just shot the Beverly Hills Dog Show, and, and I held a crested in my arms for our open. Really? So I made sure we got a crested here. I am so glad you did. Bye, Max. Max, thank you. I hope Stacey. our paths cross again. <laughs> so cute. Next, uh, our Sharpe. This is our Sharpe. This is Mina, the Sharpe, and Ginger, Mina's human, and uh, a Sharpe. You, uh, the, the standard, Look at that. 
What a beautiful form. Wrinkles, they're usually born as puppies. You've probably seen puppy pictures because they look like they've been born into a coat that's about two sizes <laughs> too big. But they kind of grow and fill in some of those wrinkles, but um, this is the, the smooth coat that, um, the smooth coat, what their standard says, the they case. should be one third one third dog, one third cat, and one third hippopotamus. Oh, that, you know what? Look I can see it. I can see it. it. And the curly little tail. Now, do they have an activity they enjoy doing? Well, they were originally a hunting dog, I think, is, is most of it. But, you know, most of our dogs today, they were bred to do a job for us. Right. But nowadays, because we've got all this technology that takes care of ratting and and uh, herding our animals on ATVs and things like that. They are all family dogs. That's, that's the great thing I want people to remember about dog shows. You see these dogs, they don't sit around on doggy cushions eating doggy bonbons all mm -hmm. week long. They're family dogs and they shed and, on our clothes and sleep on our couches and chew food somebody off our counters. Chew and that kind of that's stuff. It. Good, I'm glad They're to hear real it. dogs, real people, a great family sport. Um, Ginger and Mia. Thank, thank you. you so much. We have one more, I one think. One more, and this is, is Lordy Lordy. What a great name. With this Ann. Is the Chow Chow. The Chow Chow. They, look at again, this. were a hunting dog, but they have that, this Nordic look about them with the pointed ears and the standoff coat. That, <laughs> I'm sorry, that face is just too much. I hope, come, come look at us what? again. Look at the camera. One of our what great, one of our great friends, one of your great friends too, uh, Martha Stewart, has chows and actually won the breed at Westminster a few years ago. With really? Her chow. I actually did not know that. Yeah. So they're great dogs. Now, personality-wise, if, if you were going to choose one of these um, dogs, one of these breeds um, for your family, what would you choose? Well, you want to get one that matches your family. I mean, if you're a person who wants to run at night, get a dog, a big dog, an athletic dog that can keep up with you. If you're going to sit at home and watch television at night, you might not want right. a sporting breed that wants to get out and run all the time. So that's part of what we do at the dog show is educate you about that. So important, Come right? around, talk to the breeders and the owners and the handlers, the people who have had these breeds and find out if it fits for you because if it grows up to be something you're not expecting, that's a yeah. dog that ends up in a shelter. So Ex exactly. we want to make sure that everybody's ready for that. And the other great thing that we're doing with Seattle Kennel Club and with the American Kennel Club now is that, that we are recognizing mixed breed dogs and they are competing in our show in that's agility. That's awesome. I'm it really is. glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chow Chow. Thank you, um, Tell me a little bit about this event, David Fry Unleashed. <laughs> I like the idea and I love the well. name. I have 27 years of doing Westminster and 17 years of doing the National Dog Show on NBC on mm -hmm. Thanksgiving Day. So uh, it's just kind of a, a look at some of the fun stories I've had gathered through the years as, as they've come to call me the mayor of Westminster. But So that's going to be the special demo event. Well, I'm just going to stand out there and answer questions and and have a good time and explain to people why dogs are so great for us. And I just wanted to sneak something in that we weren't planning to talk about, but your pen um, caught my eye and you told me something important about the Thank charity. You. It's for my charity called Angel on a Leash, which is also the name of my book, so there's my word from the sponsor, um, that talks about therapy dogs, visiting hospitals, visiting, uh, when I was in New York, we visited at the VA hospital. My Brittany and I would visit the VA every Wednesday. My wife worked at the Ronald McDonald House as their chaplain. Our dogs were there all the time. And in a lot of places, they were the first dogs in. But therapy dogs is a great activity for you to do to help people in need and visit with your dog and uh, make somebody smile. Can we find you online? Absolutely. And learn more about it? Absolutely. David, thank you very much. Margaret, thanks for having Your us on Your love for again. these animals just fun. comes through and life is better with, with a dog. No question. Life is thank better you. with thanks a dog. Thank you, thanks for having us on. The Seattle Kennel Club Dog Show is this Saturday and Sunday at CenturyLink Field Event Center. You can get tickets and details on our website. After the break, we'll talk with Washington Secretary of State Kim Wyman about voter protection here in our state back after this break. Thank you.